Hello and welcome to Virtual Church for today. Today we're going to read a story in the Bible which is all about a party. It seems like a very long time since we were able to go to a party, doesn't it? Sometimes I think we think about Jesus as a man who only kind of sat on a mountainside um, talking to people and about God and praying and but today's story shows us that he was also a man who enjoyed himself and enjoyed being with other people. So we're going to read our passage today, which is, comes from John's Gospel, and it's the first miracle that Jesus performed. Two days later, there was a wedding in the town of Cana in Galilee. Jesus' mother was there. Jesus and his followers were also invited to the wedding. When all the wine was gone, Jesus' mother said to him, they have no more wine. Jesus answered, dear woman, why come to me? My time has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, do whatever he tells you to do. In that place, there were six stone water jars. The Jews used jars like these in their washing ceremony. Each jar held about 100 litres. Jesus said to the servants, fill the jars with water. So they filled the jars to the top. Then he said to them, now take some out and give it to the master of the feast. So the servants took the water to the master. When he tasted it, the water had become wine. He did not know where the wine came from, but the servants who brought the water knew. The master of the wedding called the bridegroom and said to him, people always serve the best wine first. Later, after the guests have been drinking a lot, they serve the cheaper wine, but you have saved the best wine till now. So in Cana of Galilee, Jesus did his first miracle. There he showed his glory and his followers believed in him. When Jesus told his servants to fill the jars with water, like this jar, and then pour some out and take it to the man in charge of the celebration, they must have thought he was crazy. But the servants did what they were told. They took a cup of water from the stone jars to the man in charge. When he drank from the cup, he said he didn't even know where it had come from. It was the best wine he had ever tasted. Now, if I add some glitter into this water, and then I'll pop the lid on and give it a little shake. We can see that the glitter transforms the water into something totally different. Jesus transformed that ordinary water into something that was special, to wine. But not just to any old wine, it was the best that the master of the banquet had ever tasted. Jesus didn't just solve the problem. He also blessed all the people that were there at that wedding feast. And just like us, that's just like us, Jesus can take our ordinary lives, like the jar of water, and transform it into something beautiful and special, like when I add the glitter to this water. When Jesus' mother told him to sort out the problem, he wasn't sure it was the right thing to be doing. But in the end, obviously, he did as she told him. And through God's power, Jesus was able to make the party better and to turn that ordinary water into wine. What an amazing thing to do. And I wonder how the guests at the wedding would have felt. How would you feel if you were at a party and they ran out of cake? I'd be pretty gutted. Imagine you were at this party, at this wedding feast, how do you think you would feel if you were there and if you'd witnessed this miracle? What do you think the people there thought about Jesus when they saw him do it? Jesus made that party better by giving them what they needed. And God promises us in the Bible that he will give us what we need to. And like I said, transforming us from that, our ordinary lives into something beautiful and special. God gives us loads and loads of good things in our life. And even we take those things for granted all the time, but they're still there. And that's what we call God blessing us, those good things that God gives to us. Let's think about some of them. So we all live in a house. We all have clothes to wear. We all have people who love us. We've all eaten today. We've all expecting to eat again later, I expect. We have toys to play with. We have school to go to. And I appreciate at the moment, it might all be online, you might be at home and missing going to school, but you're still better off than millions of children in the world who don't get an education. So for our two activities today, we're going to be thinking about all those things God has blessed you with, all those good things that God has given you. 
So for the first one, you're going to need a piece of paper and some pens. And on your piece of paper, draw all the things you can think of that God has blessed you with. How quickly can you fill up your page? Not just by scribbling, but by doing it properly. For the second one, you're going to need the rest of your family and a ball of string or wool. And the instructions are all on the email for that. Let's finish this week with a prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for the many blessings that each of us has been given. Thank you that we enjoy some of them together and thank you for blessing the blessing that is our families. Amen. <laughs>